loosely translates to stand by me dog and I think that's a really accurate reflection of their temperament and their demeanour. It's a really loyal dog, it's a great companion and they do love being with their people. So this is not the kind of dog to get if you work long hours, if you've got a really busy family life, they need time spending with, um, they absolutely love being with their family so that's the first consideration really. It's not the easiest breed in the world. They can be a little bit cautious, they can be a bit sensitive. Some people say they're stubborn as well. Um, so definitely go and, and meet one and spend some time with them and see whether this really is the, the right breed for you. The Stay Behind is great with kids. They absolutely love their families, they love kids. They're incredibly gentle with both you know, young and, and older kids. They love to play, but particularly they just like spending time with you. So it is an amazing family dog if you've got the time for them. They love swimming, so anyone who lives next to the beach, a lake, anything like that, um, this, is, this is a great dog. They, they, they love it, they're strong swimmers. We had to get her from Holland and uh, we got her two weeks ago, so she's been with us exactly two weeks. Um, she was 16 weeks when we, when we could get her because of the uh, sort of importation regulations and she had to have a rabies vaccination etc. So uh, she was 16 weeks when we got her um, and she has settled down just perfectly. We were looking for a dog that was good with kids, a good family dog, easy to train. Um, there's, there's lots of people that come into our house and lots of other dogs that come into our house. So we wanted something that was going to be um, friendly and these fit the bill. From everything we read, we thought that's what, we, that's what we're going to go for. Yeah, even from a very young puppy, he was brilliant. He was very ch calm, very chilled out. He he wasn't as hectic as um, some puppies can be. He settled in really well. We got him great with the children, great with the other dogs, and it's just progressed from there. He's been everything we could have hoped for. And so, if you want a dog that's going to be a real part of the family, then these are the ones that you know, they they are. They're, it's like an extra child, but a nice child. <laughs> It's so nice to see all the uh, United Kingdom stabies over here. Um, and I also see the first born uh, litter here in the United Kingdom. And I think you can be very proud. It's not a dog that has an, a huge will to please. Uh, he's very independent. He can be a bit stubborn. And you must notice that when you start with a stabai. And if you pay attention to that, you have a great 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 dog about it. This is Lika, okay. she's 15 months old and she's just starting her training now and um, very much her first early training the most important thing is socialization just really getting her used to everything what's going on and so she becomes comfortable with her surroundings wherever she is so nice and confident so that was the first training now she's started her actual gun dog training so getting her to take directional commands to work at a distance and introducing hunt commands and she's gorgeous <laughs> she is um, Ron Seal, yeah. exactly what it says it is on the can, yeah. She's just what I wanted, just what I expected and uh, really, really very happy with her.
to uh, any other dog, any other breed that I've met. Um, I like them as a breed, and I've decided that after having a day with them. Um, I think seeing them with the youngsters, I've been impressed with that because I can obviously see they've made good family pets. And, you know, good all-round dogs, good all-round breed, lovely. I think they'd fit in with most homes. Uh, I think, like most breeds, they're best not left alone. Um, they would want interaction with their owners, and I can see that with the way they behave. They do want interaction with their owners and uh, people. So I think they're a social breed, and, and that's what's best for them. Anyone who's interested in the Stabie Hound should first and foremost contact the UK Stabie Hound Association. We'll then put you in touch with the dog that's nearest to you so you can go and meet one, spend some time with it, take it for a walk, bring your kids and really get a feel for the breed and see if it really is the dog for you. You'll then be asked to fill in an application form. We might do a home check and when everyone is happy that this is definitely the breed for you, we'll start looking for a puppy.